Hey, good morning, guys. So I've posted a new discussion that I want you to take on and uh, just going to consider. Is it possible that in all these years we've been making a mistake about what we do and how we treat criminals? Is it possible that really they have a medical condition that should be treated and not just throw them away and lock them up in jails? Now, I base this on the research of uh, Dr. Michael Stone, uh, individuals who wrote The Lucifer Effect, and Dr. Stone's second book called The Anatomy of Evil. You've now had the chance to watch a whole lot of videos on um, the anatomy, the physiology of the brain and the nervous system, and how they work together to control you physiologically. You've also seen a good series of videos that also highlight and introduce you to these concepts. What I want you to do now is take a look at the article that I've posted as a part of that discussion, and then also make sure that you finish the presentation that was an introduction to neuroscience and identify whether or not we should be putting these people in jail. Are we in fact acting inhumane by ignoring perhaps underlying medical conditions that should be considered as a part of their challenge. I'm expecting at least two to three paragraphs, uh, APA format. Please make sure that this is submitted. Uh, it can be single spaced or double spaced, I don't care. But cite references. Make sure that you support your arguments. What I also expect is for you to then go back and comment on the submissions of other people. Do you think that they have made a good argument? Do you think that they have room to improve that argument? Final comments on everyone else's work will be due by Sunday, but your initial submission is due before Friday at midnight. All grades will then be reviewed and your discussions will be um, assessed and critiqued Monday or Tuesday of next week. So, Put your thinking caps on, apply what you know, see if you can solve the mystery. This is a huge bioethics issue. This is a medical issue and one that I hope will challenge you in how you take a look at and approach the idea of <clears throat> neurology, um, the brain and the nervous system. We're gonna slowly start moving more into abnormal psychology and take a look at some of the issues that go around with that as well. Um, we're also going to take a closer look at some of the hormones that impact the body and some of the changes that go on there. Have fun.